If you need an alternative to your laptop web camera for streaming or working from home, then let's check out the Yeskimo web camera. Let's go. What's going on guys? Welcome to Dial Home Tech. I just want to say before anything else, a huge thank you to all of you guys who have been watching and subscribing to the channel. We finally surpassed the 1000 subscriber mark. That is by far the biggest achievement I have had on this channel and I'm super excited and thankful for all of you guys for that. All right, before any further ado, let's check out the review for the Yeskimo web camera. If you're somebody who's been struggling with your laptop web camera, or if you've recently got into the work from home routine where you're constantly on video, or if you wanna stream uh, on Twitch, Facebook, uh, YouTube, whatever the case may be, then it's time to upgrade your web camera again. And before we go forward, I wanna say thank you to the guys at Yeskimo for sending over the web camera for the review. But as always, the review and the opinions on this video and this channel are my own. First things first, this is a simple and to the point package. All there is inside is your web camera with a little manual to help you with the instructions as you're setting it up. However, don't let the size of this little guy fool you. This web camera packs full 1080p full HD video output as well as two microphones, one acting as your main microphone and the other one helping with the noise cancellation around you so you don't get those unwanted background noises as you're recording or streaming. Also, the camera is compatible with Windows, uh, Mac OS, Chrome, and Android, so you can plug this camera virtually anywhere you want, whether you're using a Mac, a Windows machine, a Chromebook, um, or something that is enabled or powered by an Android OS. You can also use this web camera on your uh, Xbox interface, so if you're somebody who wants to uh, stream during you know, your gaming sessions and things like that, you can also use this camera with Linux OS in case you're somebody who has a, a Fedora powered machine at home or something like that so that you can use the camera capabilities on that. Now the main feature of the webcam is the ability to input that 1080p video, which is awesome, um, but it also comes with a couple little nifty things. Now you can mount this camera in a couple of different ways. And the first one is using this little swivel mechanism in the back where you place the camera on top of the monitor and actually tilt the little lip so that it'll hold the camera in place and prevent it from shaking it or falling. You can also place on top of your existing webcam, so if you have a laptop and a built-in web camera, so that you have it nice and centered. The second option is a tripod screw on the bottom. So if you have a uh, miniature tripod um, or a full-size tripod, you can use the camera by screwing into the tripod connection so that it's nice and solid for you. Now, last but not least, you need to know if the camera is on and it's functional. And for that, there are two LED indicators in front of it. One is by showing you that the camera is plugged and it's functional. And the second one is a little light bulb showing you that there's input going into the camera. Let me give you guys a little bit of a test to show you what the input of the sound and video of the camera looks like. All right, so I wanted to do a quick audio and video test so you guys can see what the camera looks and sounds like when it's recording. Um, as you can see, the, the image looks really good, uh, 1080p image, um, as I can see here on my monitor. Um, and also, I wanted you guys to check out the quality of the microphone as well as the ability to noise to do noise cancellation. So um, again, it has two microphones, one on the back, one on the front and they do act as a um, kind of like noise reduction noise canceling um, around the environment around the perimeter where you're at um, so it allows you to kind of filter out all the background noise if you're using for streaming or call um, or something like that so hopefully this helps all right so you've seen it all let's talk about the price there's a ton of options out there for web cameras claiming to be 1080p um, good like this and like that but for $55 on a Yeskimo camera, you're actually getting the reputable name of a good company that's been working in the camera realm for a little while now. Now, there were a couple of things that kind of rubbed me the wrong way, and one of them was the quality of the input video, sometimes getting a little bit of a skip or some sort of lag latency. Um, I'm not entirely sure what was happening. I don't know if it was due to the lighting of the studio at the time, but um, I did have some issues doing some of the recording. However, it wasn't really a deal breaker to me, so I would still look into this camera if I was on the market for one at the moment. Now, the other thing was the build. 
The camera looks nice, but it's not really like a high-end build. And I'm not saying you should expect something that would look like it's made by Apple on a $55 camera, but you're still buying a product that has a ton of competition out there and people do seem to care about those things. I'm not saying the camera is flimsy or anything like that. It held up nicely when I was playing with it using the 360 swivel. The camera was good and solid, but I would have expected a little bit of a better build. Just a better high-end look um, or something that would really strike me as like you know something I would want to buy now shine doesn't mean quality but I would like to see something a little bit more polished up when it came to a camera that I would be adding to a setup perhaps different LEDs in the front um, even the choice of the LED icons the little light bulb uh, showing that the camera is actually on um, I'm not sure what I would have put there but um, maybe just a green LED or something like that. I, I don't know, but it just really didn't strike me as you know a really high-end build quality um, for a product. Again, it's fifty-five dollars. You're not purchasing a two hundred and fifty, three hundred dollar web camera out there. But I would have liked to see something a little bit more polished up when it comes to finished product on this one. All in all, guys, I will still give a thumbs up because it is a budget-friendly camera that gives you what you need, and that is. 1080p quality video with quality audio. So if you're looking to check it out, I will have links in the description, so feel free to take a look at them. So if you guys wanna check out more videos about tech reviews, smart home technology, and home automation, I'm gonna leave a playlist right here on the side where you can click and watch many more videos like this very one. And if you haven't yet and you're into that stuff, please consider subscribing to the channel. And this one about wraps it up for today. Thank you guys so much for sticking around. And until next time, I'm Dial. See ya.